Lucas Bella, a performer and sound artist. I am Keg de Caesar. I make temporary architectures, I work in visual arts. I guess some um, thought from the came after the birth of Ernie here. I'd been making pinball machines as a way of getting everyday people to react to with experimental music devices. After Ernie was born, I was thinking of doing the same thing but with um, playground equipment. Yeah, I guess like um, I'm really interested in this idea of play and how that's sort of like a microcosm for society. <laughs> They're pokey and they're, they're limitless. It's a fun way of um, interacting with, with, with sound. And yeah, we're excited about the format of a playground where it can be like, sonified. So my name is Danielle Robson and I'm the curator of Fort Thunder. The artists have created work that looks like play equipment, but really these are interactive instruments. You have to propel yourself on a swing, you have to turn knobs, you have to use your arm up and down on a fort. And they look quite simple, but actually these are incredibly complicated and incredibly detailed and the technology and the electronics behind it are just, you know, second to none. And really, they, these, are, these instruments are completely new. There's nothing else like them in the world and the audiences here at Fairfield City Museum and Gallery are the first ones to be playing these instruments. I like the pinball machines, but I think the swing with the sound is pretty interesting. It's really fun to go up and down. I like the pinball machine. I love the little sound poles. I liked how it's a swing, so it's fun, except it can make sounds as well and you can understand sound waves and like how they work. And how you can all like sort of play together and all the fun things, doing all the bright colours. It's really good because it's fun. Oh, he's